equals to zero, this is not equal to zero, and therefore this ought to be equal to zero. And that gives me nk uh, into nk minus one equals to zero, and that gives me nk equal to zero and nk equals to one. You see, so our one simple assumption, which looks now simple, that we assume or postulate that let my annihilation and creation operators or the modes, as you like to call them, let them obey anti commutation relations instead of obeying the commutation relations. That is the idea. As soon as we do that, then there is a great change conceptually. In the earlier case, my nk could have any value 0, 1, 2, 3, up to infinity. And all those uh, with same k, with, which means all identical particles, infinite number of them, they could stay in the same quantum state. Okay? Now it's no longer possible. And it has only two eigenvalues, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. So, uh, what is the meaning of this? Uh, So, the vacuum state you again define by for all k. So, the definition of the vacuum stays the same. The, the definition of the creation of a dagger k Construction of the higher energy states also proceeds exactly the same way as before. <coughs> However, now what we will see is one uh, k one l is k dagger and dagger zero, and this is minus a L dagger a k dagger zero because of the anti commutation property. Because of the anti commuting property of these variables, I would have this. So, this I would have equal to minus 1k, 1l, 1k. So, you see immediately. So, you, you notice that it implies uh, uh, what you call this anti symmetry. Anti symmetry of the state. So, here now. If you change the particle level, you pick up a minus sign. Okay. This is the, the anti-symmetry property of the state. This follows as a result of this the, the other uh, result that we postulated, other uh, anti-commutation properties that we postulated for A and A dagger. So if I if I flip AK and AL, 
IP to be minus sign. Correct? And now this would be a one particle state with L, one particle state with K. So it's a two particle state, one particle of the type L, one particle of the type K. Okay. So the anti symmetry of the state follows. Okay. And <coughs> so this is a this is a famous property of the Fermi Dirac statistics. Okay, so we are dealing with Fermi Dirac statistics, and that was our purpose. So you see, just by introducing the anti commutator, anti commutation properties for the any representation operators, we have got the completely Fermi Dirac statistics. Okay, and now supposing I put k equal to l, then what happens? One k. 1k is equal to a k dagger a k dagger 0 uh, minus a k dagger a k dagger 0 you bring it to one k one k you bring it to price of Or uh, putting two particles of the same type k that gives you zero, right? So we derive the so-called Poly exclusion principle. Our poly exclusion principle automatically follows two identical fermions cannot stay in the same state. So I make them both the particles to be of the same type and then they and then they the state uh, vanishes. So this quantum state is not possible. Okay, so two identical fermions cannot stay in the in the same okay and uh, this is all about this now we could see that uh, I can remove the all this yes So, uh, for the for the Dirac action in quantum field theory, uh, you can write psi of x equal to psi of x plus the positive and negative frequency part and And so the complex conjugate Dirac and Tent of this. Uh,
And now we will define the uh, let me say N C of the type uh, C R data of P So, uh, I would cut short on many all other things here. Uh, you can simply look at the Dirac equation, Dirac, uh, Dirac spinner field theory. But the important point that I would like to highlight or emphasize here is that for such a theory, I would construct one number operator corresponding to C, dagger C, and one I would construct corresponding to D and D, D dagger D. So, if one of them would be the would be the for the number operator for the electrons, for example, then the other one would be the number operator for the positron. So for particle and antiparticle. And so this this C and D dagger and D and C dagger. They are our C C dagger and D D dagger. They represent our two sets of uh, annihilation and creation operators for the theory. <coughs> and similarly, when we would consider this theory, this would this psi and psi mu were 